Okay, so welcome back. This is part five in our series where we explain what are relays and how do they work. And we started out in the series in part one giving a general overview of what are called protective relays. And we started out with a overcurrent relay. And the purpose of the overcurrent relay is used in many power companies and industries where it will monitor continuously the current on a circuit, either feeding your home or office or in some industrial complex. And if the current exceeds a certain value for a certain amount of time, it will initiate an action. And generally, the action is to open what's called a circuit breaker, which will de-energize or disconnect the power to whatever circuit is feeding the power so that somebody can go out and repair it and fix whatever is causing the overcurrent and then close the circuit breaker back in and re to reconnect the power. And uh, in subsequent videos, we started building what you see here, which is a simulator, a software simulator. And it's a great uh, opportunity to really learn how relays work, because if you have to write a simulator, you need to figure out exactly what they're doing to the extent that you have to actually write the lines of code that explain what they're doing. So it's a great opportunity if you really want to learn about something. And we started to develop the simulator here. And what the simulator does is it is connecting uh, over a serial COM port in the computer to an Arduino, which is acting as a data acquisition device. And that Arduino is grabbing data from a current sensor that is monitoring the current in a high power DC circuit. And it is taking that value and converting it into a digital signal that it feeds over the COM port to this application. And the result is what you see here. It is measuring the current in the circuit. And in this case, we have um, the COM port is connected and it's measuring the current. Uh, we also give the user an opportunity to describe how the overcurrent relay works. This is what's called a time overcurrent relay. We've got different characteristics on how the relay responds, how fast it responds to an overcurrent. As you can see, we're monitoring some current Actually, there's zero current in the circuit right now. And we also have an indicator that the circuit breaker was simulating that it's either opening or closing a circuit breaker. And we're showing right now the circuit breaker is open, so there's no current flowing. We also simulated what's called a digital fault recorder, which is whenever you see an overcurrent, it starts recording that. So later on, you can look at a graph to see exactly what the current was over time. So maybe it can help you figure out what the um, cause of the problem was. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to take the next step. And instead of just simulating opening and closing a circuit breaker, which we did by using these images in a picture box, we're actually going to cause the Arduino to operate a what's called a DC control relay, which is going to simulate a circuit breaker. And we did some other videos talking about DC control relays and how they work and how you can connect it with an Arduino to operate the relay. So what we're going to do in this video is tie that into this simulator, and it's going to actually operate the control relays to turn on and off the current in the DC circuit. As you can see here, we're also going to add a couple buttons, which allow us to manually open and close the circuit breaker, which is actually the DC control relay. And we are also going to talk about calibration. It's very important. Um, we've got two data acquisition devices, an Arduino and a current sensor. And we have to make sure that we have those calibrated so that they give us reasonable values. You can see with no current flowing, it's showing a tenth of an amp, which really isn't exactly correct, but it's close. If we don't have the calibration right, this might say three amps. So we have to be very careful that we understand how to calibrate um, our data acquisition devices. So that's what we're going to do in this video. We're going to talk about um, hooking up the Arduino with the um, DC control relay and then manually controlling it and also figuring out how to calibrate our data acquisition devices. So now I've got the power supply turned on and what we can do is we can simulate actually closing the breaker and see what happens. We're going to have uh, one or two amps of current flowing and we've got a minimum trip of one amp and we can see what's going to happen as we close the breaker. So we'll hit close. See the breaker closes. We go up to about one amp. And you can see I cranked the current up and it tripped. It took eight seconds to trip. And the current went to zero, and I can hit this DFR, and you can see here's what happened. 
over time the current started out it went up about one amp and we cranked it up to over two amps and the relay operated so now let's take a look at what we um, added in this application in order to to connect to the dc control relay and also do some calibration so here's a general overview of what we're going to set up here we've got our computer with our software simulator and that's connecting over the com port to our arduino and the Arduino is going to have two functions. It's going to send a signal to the relay to open and close it. And it's also going to be receiving data from this current sensor to measure how much current is in the circuit that's being controlled by this relay. And here is the wiring diagram that we're going to be using. Again, uh, we've covered this before in previous videos where we showed how to hook up this DC relay to the Arduino. Um, this is just an extension of that. We also have a video on this uh, current sensor, so I encourage you to look at that. But basically on the right side, we've got our external power supply that's going to apply 5 or 10 volts to this circuit on the right. And we go from the positive from the power supply is going to go through the current sensor positive terminal to the negative terminal through the contact of this relay through a variable resistor from it goes from zero to five ohms so you can see we can get one two three amps coming here if we have like five or ten volts coming out of the power supply so we're going to have some high currents going through this relay and through the current sensor and we're going to control this relay using the arduino and it's going to be using uh, as we showed before in the dc relay video uh, pin eight in the digital output and we're just connecting that pin 8 to the relay control input and we're making sure the grounds are connected and we also have on the relay as we showed before we're going to have the vcc and jd vcc connected to this 5 volt dc power supply so this power supply is going to supply 5 volts to our current sensor in this vcc and also in the um, control relay but really the only control signals are the output of the current sensor going into the analog zero analog input and then the digital pin out which is going to control this relay. So that's the wiring diagram pretty straightforward and again we covered most of this before. Now another thing we want to talk about is calibration. Again this current sensor with zero amps flowing in this circuit that's being measured by these two terminals this provides an output of about two and a half volts. What's really happening is it's taking this five volt supply that you're giving to it and it's giving an output at zero current coming in an output of one half of whatever this five volt input is. So we talked about this in this current sensor video um, but we got to make sure that we have this calibrated because we're going to have to convert from the current to this output voltage. So we got to make sure we know what voltage we're getting with no current. That's going to be a calibration issue we have to figure out. And also, as we talked about in another video about Arduino accuracy, um, this Arduino, when it does analog to digital conversion, which it's going to be doing for this current in, it gives a digital output from 0 to 1023 that is proportional to whatever voltage we're getting on this analog input and it uses what's called a vref on this uh, arduino so we got to figure out what that vref is because that's the voltage proportional to 1023 coming out again we talked about this in other videos but these are the two things we need to calibrate so let's take a quick look at the bench setup i've got here see i've got my dc power supply we're going to apply five volts to um this rheostat, and I did a video on what is a rheostat, basically a variable resistor from 0 to 5 ohms, which means we can, as you vary this, we can get 1, 2, 3, or 4 amps through this power circuit. And basically it comes in to the rheostat, goes through the relay contact, back to this um, terminal, and then through the current sensor, and then back into the power supply. So this is the power section, and over here is the control section. And I've got my DC relay. We showed how to hook that up. We've got the Arduino. Uh, we've got our 5 volt DC to power the DC relay and the current sensor. And then we've basically got the current coming into the sensor and going out here and being measured by the um, Arduino. 
Over here, I've got two meters, and they're reading um, values that we're going to need in order to do calibration. We have the VREF that we're reading from the Arduino, and it's about 5.18 volts. Now, a lot of people think that, oh, it's a 5-volt device. The USB provides 5 volts, and that's what's using for VREF. Well, not necessarily. Often, I've found that it's never 5 volts. It's usually higher, so you need to make sure you understand it's not 5 volts, it's 5.18. Again, we did a video on Arduino accuracy. Here is the zero current. When zero current is flowing through the circuit, you see we've got zero amps here. That's how much voltage is being provided by the current sensor. So we are measuring that zero voltage output so that we can calibrate the current sensor response voltage versus current. But that's basically it for the setup. So let's go take a look at the code we need to make this happen. So here we are in our relay simulator application. And um, the only things I've added to this application are, you can see where we have the picture box where we show different images indicating whether the circuit breaker is open and closed. And actually, we didn't have a circuit breaker. We're just using these as a simulator for opening and closing a breaker. But I've added manual control buttons. And these are just basic buttons that we're going to click to either open or close the breaker. And of course, previously, the relay that we've been simulating will every time step measure the current coming from the current sensor and it will check if that current is above this minimum trip value. If it is, it will start a timer. And if the timer times out and the fault current, the high current is still there, it will change the image in this picture box to indicate that the breaker is open. And now we can manually close it. So what we're going to do in this modification is we're going to connect up through the Arduino. We're actually going to send a command to the 5 volt DC relay. And we showed in the separate set of videos on DC control relays how we can do that. But previously, we were just gathering data from the current sensor. But now the Arduino is not only going to gather that data for the current, but it's also going to send a control to operate the relay. So these buttons are going to directly control the DC relay to either energize it or de-energize it to open or close the contacts. And also, we've got these two text boxes and some labels, and this is for calibration. And as we said before, we need to know what the VREF is, and we can measure that from the IO REF pin on the Arduino. We've talked about that in previous videos. We're going to allow the user to input the VREF that he measures using his multimeter. And also, with the current sensor, we need to know for zero amps flowing in the current sensor, what is the voltage output exactly from the current sensor. Maybe there's a way to do that automatically. We might look at that in the future. I haven't figured out a way to, to automate that process. But for now, we're just going to have the user enter the values. And then when we press Start, it will use those values to do the calculations. If we're going to now operate DC relays to simulate circuit breakers, how are we going to do it? Since it is measuring current every time step, and if the current remains after the, time, the relay times out, it's going to send a signal during that time step to open or close the breaker. So we know we're going to have to add some code in the time step event handler to open the breaker. And as we showed before, that's really just one line of code. We just have to do a serial.write line to write to the COM port to send to the Arduino um, a command. And we said before, it's a very simple command. It's a string of either C1 or C2, which means Command 1 or Command 2. One of them will open the relay or open the breaker, and the other will close the breaker. So we know in the time step handler, we're going to have to add a line of code to open or close the relay or the circuit breaker. Where else are we going to have to do that? Well, we've got manual control, so each of these button event handlers, when we click the button, we're going to have to send a command to the Arduino to either open or close the relay, the circuit breaker. So we know we're going to have to put that one line of code in not only the time step event handler, but also these button event handlers. The other thing is we're going to have to parameterize the Arduino VREF value that we had in the properties and also the voltage coming out of the sensor at zero amps. We had an equation. 
we're just going to have to parameterize that and grab it from these text boxes, make it into a parameter that we can then use in our equations. So that's about all we're going to do. So let's take a look at how we can do that. So we'll go into Form 1. Um, we've got Properties. And here we've got the Arduino VREF, which we have hard-coded. Uh, now we're going to allow the user to input. And we do that by measuring from the Arduino IO ref pin using a voltmeter. And then we can put it into the text box. We'll default to this value that I've measured, which is 5.19. And then we also have to, to parameterize how much voltage you get out of the current sensor with zero amps. So I'm going to call that, I'm going to make it a double amp sensor zero volts. And I'll default it to 2.5. So all we're doing is parameterizing those two values. And that's it for the properties. Now in the methods where we read current from the Arduino, we're going to have to use those parameterized values. And here we have the amp sensor amps per volt and the amp sensor zero volts. So we just changed that amps reading to give us uh, to calculate the amps from the value we get from the Arduino, which is a 0 to 1023. And then we're going to, of course, go to the event handlers. The timer one tick event handler, we go through, we calculate the amps, we filter it, we check if the fault detector is picked up, and here's where we make a change, because this is, if the relay has tripped, then we're going to actually trip the relay. And all we have to do is add this one line, Arduino port, which is the serial port dot right line C1. And then we have the manual open and close, the button CB close click, and all that does is it sends a C2 to close the relay, where we just saw a C1 opens the relay. And then this is just some uh, work we need to do to make sure that the buttons are enabled and disabled and change the color so the user doesn't want to click on them. Same thing with the button open, but we do an Arduino port right line C1. So that's it for the modifications. Let's go to the bench and see how we can operate the relay using this simulator. So here we've got our um, application. I'm going to open the COM port and start the simulation. And you can see on the bench, we've got a DC power supply set at 6 volts, but since the circuit breaker or the DC relay is open, the contacts are open, there's no current flowing. So what I can do, I've set this to 1 amp minimum trip, and I should get a couple amps flowing, and we should get this timing out and tripping and opening the relay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close the relay, and you can see it's the two and a half amps. It's timing four, three, two, one. And you can see the, the relay opened and the current went to zero. You can see on the bench, the current is at zero. So the relay did its job. It took seven seconds and we can look at the DFR. So it started out near zero and it went up to a little over two and a half amps. And after seven seconds, it tripped. So this all works now, and we've got it tripping a circuit breaker. In the future, what we might want to do is try to automatically calibrate this and maybe add some other additional features. So if you like any of these videos, I encourage you to hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notifications. But most of all, please let others know that we're here so we get some views. Really appreciate it. Otherwise, take care. Have a really good day. Thanks.